good time of day, guys! My name is Godzi, and welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Last episode, we got the rest of the Dragon Tears throughout Hyrule, and boy was that something! <laughs> There was this one where Ganon just went, oh, I'm big and evil now, and I have f lovely, beautiful, flowing red hair. Man, look at that shit. Uh, then we went and got this one, where Ravru was like, hey, yo, friends, you want some secret stones? Uh, isn't that the name of a Fire Emblem game? I don't know. That doesn't exist yet. Then we did this one, where Ravru was like, If I die against Ganon, I mean, I guess that's just okay. And then we did this one, where Zelda was like, Okay, I'm gonna become a dragon. And then this one, and it almost made me cry. And then this one, where Zelda became a dragon. It was pretty cool. And I almost cried several times. Um, <laughs> thankfully, I did not cry earlier today when I uh, did that episode. Uh, or since then. Also, I was at work, and I don't think I thought about it a single time while I was there, oddly enough. Um, I'm like a different person when I'm at work. I'm actually working and not really thinking, which I kind of don't mind. My coworker bought me a rock star. That was, that was pretty nice of her. Uh, it tasted good. Yeah. So yeah, this episode, I guess since it's 9 p.m., what better to do than explore the fucking depths? Hell yeah! Um, how about we head for Bitch Boy? I think that's the area we should go. We're gonna take out Bitch Boy. The frocks that scared us all those fucking millennia ago. We're gonna kick his ass. And we're just gonna get as much of the depths as we humanly can. So, north is behind me, so this is south. Alright, y'all ready? I'm ready. Oh, wait, actually, instead, real quick. Um. I'm gonna go here, because I think I can get more battery charges. I. I have to be able to get it. I, wasn't it like a hundred crystallized charges per? It was something like that. We haven't seen that since... We haven't been here since the very, very, very beginning of the game. But it's fine. And... We'll get like... We have like 450 battery charges, so... Hope oh, that should mean we can get four more batteries. So, yeah. Quintuple our amount. This is a crystal refinery. I can take your crystallized charges and use them to produce energy wells. Oh, we have 500, even. To produce five energy wells will require... Oh, it's a third of a battery each. Oh, well, that's more reasonable, I guess. Is that acceptable? Get producing! Right this moment! Please wait. Don't fucking yell at me. What is that machine? Ah, uh, it's the dick crusher. Oh my. I have refined your crystallized charges into five energy wells. Yay! So an energy well is a third of a battery, huh? Well, oh, shit. I mean, that's more than double. Hell, it's almost triple. I would enjoy further visits from you. I will, as soon as I- wait a minute. Are there? Yeah, there would have to be booble frogs on the caves up here, wouldn't there? Huh. Well, we'll figure that out eventually. Um, let's head back down here and let's mix floor. Time to connect the fucking dots. Elden ore deposits. Okay. So, the reason I chose that is because I'm fairly sure, would I be allowed to make the bike thing? Oh my god, it, it keeps track of a lot of shit. 
Okay, it only keeps track of 30 things. Damn. No, I'm not able to make the bike. Shit. Well, that's fine. Uh, do I have the pieces to make a bike? I would need two fans and a steering stick. Hell yeah. Alright. Don't you run away. Stop! Okay. Um, so which way did it go again? I think it was... Well, it wasn't like that. That's... That feels wrong as well. Stop rolling. Stop. Sick. Um. It's certainly not like that. It's right there. There we go. Set his favorite. Awesome. Oh boy. This fe- Oh, fuck. <laughs> well, that's good timing. Blue mained. I feel like I made it wrong. Like I did something incorrect. I don't know. Yeah, it's leaning left. It's leaning super left. Ow. I do not want the Lionel to find me. Allow me to stand right here and flip my bike up and figure out what's wrong with it by looking up an image of the one people use on the internet. <laughs> because clearly I fucked up the arrangement. Uh, TLTK hover bike. All I need is an image. Why is that one perfectly flat? I think the angle the angles are too sharp. That photo looks good. What? Wait, huh? Google. TLTK hover bike. Images. That one. Okay, thank you. Okay, yeah, I did put it together wrong. Okay, hold on. So... It'd be easier to put you together up here. So I'm gonna... Put you guys up there. Okay. Some bitches flying down the road. Okay, so...
not even that sharp. How do I only get it a little bit sharp? I wish you could, like, free rotate it. That'd be nice. I guess I can prop it on this. Yeah, I like that. So, like that. No, not like that. No, stop going on it straight. You're so annoying. Oh my god. This bitch stupid. There we go. Wait. No, that's right. Like that. Well, that's certainly not correct. Oh, it's not centered anyways. Oh my god. Yeah. How do you get these very light angles? Because as soon as I... Yeah, as soon as I take it apart, it does that. Nope, not centered. There we go. So that's one. There we go. Alright, now set you as a favorite and unmark you. Oh, now that's more like it, but it got stuck. Hell yeah, baby! Woohoo! Oh god, we're in a tree. We're completely in a tree. Guys, we're in a tree. How do I get out of the tree? I guess that's one way. <sighs> Motherfucker slid all the way back down here. Hey. <laughs> Fell straight on a muddle bud. I am not very good at aiming this thing. Okay, neat heal. Not a captain horn. Not a fire fruit. Though that did give a good amount of glow. Okay, so if I look... Yeah, let me zoom in right there. So the chasm is where the frocks would be. So he's in that direction. I actually don't like the idea of flying around on this thing. But it... Right now. But hey, at least we... Got it part of the way. Alright, we're gonna see the motherfucker eventually. I just hope he doesn't scare the piss out of me. Because god are those things creepy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Who wants to tussle? 
Oi. Okay, this this is not very helpful. Are you kidding? All the fucking way down there. It's conceivable that I could just glide around on the bike, but I hate the idea. I hate the idea. You know what else I hate the idea of? Continuing to use this motherfucking Get blinded, jump scare. This motherfucking drifting ass Joy-Con. Gone to my purple one. So that it actually, you know. Feels good. It's newish. I got it for Christmas last year, so. It's not gonna drift on me and make me walk to the left constantly. Ah, oh, it already feels so much better. Okay, so. I'm actually gonna. Hello? Oh, he's over there. Oh, no, he's right there. Hi, Dinral. How you doing? You having a nice day? Yeah. Are you also someone who swallowed a secret stone? No, I just kind of exist. Cool. Eh. Okay. The chasm's that way. Is the frogs up there? It's hard to fucking see down here, dude. So hard to see. Bitch, I need a night vision potion. The depths are genuinely fucking terrifying to me. I can't really explain why. They just are... It's the craziest shit. Was it up here? Well, I don't see anything over there. Now I do. There he is. Wait, do I? No, I don't. I'm, I'm fucking insane. I'm losing my mind and shit. It's literally just dots. He'd be- he would be this way. Let me shoot an arrow over that way and see. Watch me hit him. Huh. Watch, he's gonna like... appear out of nowhere. Eventually, isn't he? Alright, I'm gonna climb this. This feels safe. Comparatively, at least. There's Dinral still. Alright. Glide, glide, glide. Okay, hold on. Yeah. Okay, he's not right here. Good. Book it. Is that a different Yiga hideout? It is. Akin Akinatanis Light Root. Akinatanis Light Root. Ooh, big junk. Does that even include the chasm? I don't think it does. Do it? No, it do. And the chasm is... That way? Yeah. So he would be over this cliff. I don't exactly want to fight him, but... Maybe it's the kind of frogs I'm missing. Where the fuck is he?
There's a bunch of ore over there. No, that's just Zonite. These motherfuckers have ore on their backs, don't they? Did I imagine that? Oh, there he is. Oh, yeah, he is. Obsidian frocks. Ooh, yeah, he ugly. And there's the chasm up there. Can you blame me for not wanting to fuck with this thing? Jump towards me for a funny photo. Hey, bastard. Yo, who turned on the lights? <laughs> we'll have to kill one eventually, but whatever. Ow. Okay. Yeah, I had a stamp. Okay. Okay, so just standing under these is enough to get that. That's good. Alright, so there would be a light route over here as well. And this is the direction, so... Sure, why not? Little bit of a mine thing over there. 20 minutes in and we have gotten one light route. Because I am fucking... I am a little fucking bitch who is afraid of the dark in a video game. Because there's big frogs. Huge frogs, baby. Massive fucking frogs. Bigums. Big and chunky frogs. Idea. Sec. Ah! Nice. So is there only ever gonna be one dude flying a machine around or driving or whatever? Okay, was the door up there? I think it was. I can actually see lava from here. Yep, right here. So there should be a schematic in here. As well as another thing. Hee hee hee. Oh yeah. Gimme that shit, fucker. Yep, Yiga schematic. Wagon. Seriously? I mean, okay. <laughs> Oh, that was just the door shutting. Okay. Yeah, we should go to that thing. There's probably some good shit there. Ooh, there's fire keys down here. Very nice, very fun. Big Zonite deposit also. Ovary Canyon Mine. Aight. What you got for me? Watch it be a shitty weapon. Oh, more charges. Sure. Oh, we got a dude man. We got a dude man over there with a weapon. <laughs> Fuck you. Well, that's certainly fucking overkill, but... Whatever. Nah, oh, it's just a Traverse Claymore. Why do you guys give all the same shit? Ah, oh, you motherfucker. Well. Into the dark, I guess. Not a key eyeball. Yeah. This is a big, empty, open space, and I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm pissing. I'm, I'm pissing and shitting. At least enemies don't fall out of the sky. <laughs> fall right out of the sky. Okay.
There's gonna be a fucking light route in this direction eventually. Hello? Another building. Yeah. Oh no, it's one of those things. Okay, don't care. Fuck off. Ain't we got nothing to do with you. Can't see in ahead of me, so I'll shoot far. Oh boy. There's gonna be ever means around here. Or not? Oh, that's not a white root, that's lava. Where's this fucking white root then? It's in this direction. Baby frocks. Oh, bomb. Yeah. Why do I do this to myself where I go into the depths when it's pitch black outside? Like, girl, I gotta throw fucking bright bloom seeds IRL. These things would be fucking beautiful. Honestly, honest to God, if someone, like, I, I don't care if it's official merch or like, oh shit, that thing's gloomy even. I don't care if it were official merch or not. If someone made, like, lamps that looked like Bright Bloom seeds, I would buy a few. Honest to fuck? That'd be the coolest shit ever. I would pay good money for a Bright Bloom seed looking lamp. Hell, I'd probably commission a glass worker to do that. Look at this. Wouldn't that just be fucking beautiful? And it'd be a cute little reference, too. Hey, dude, is that another Traverse Claymore? What the fuck is wrong with these guys? The compendium implies that there's more weapons like this, but... Suppose not. So where the fuck is this... How high is this light route? Or is it below me? And I can't see. Oh, there it is. Heh. <laughs> oh, lava! How does this count as lava land? Getty Kayam Light Root. Alright. The Light Roots have especially weird names. That's tough. Okay. I mean, I guess we're sort of in Lava Land, but Jesus. How's the pin still there? <laughs> okay. We've almost connected these two areas. So where's the next one? There's a shrine over here. But considering there's water, that's probably hard to get to. We could go here. It's in a straight line, and honestly... I think Lava Land's gonna be safer than, like, almost anywhere we've been. Literally. I mean, it's an area that... Hey! Traveler Spear! Thank you! That's amazing, dude. Oops. Oops. <laughs> Pose, pose, pose! Look at all my pose! Oh boy. I'm out of my element, guys. I'm out of my element. I gotta stand next to the pose. They're my safety. Alright. Get inside me. I really kind of wish that these Poes were, um, that they had Poe enemies that dropped Poes. Maybe they do. 
And I just haven't found one. Oh! I was like, what the fuck is that? It's a battle talus. Hello? Soldier's broadsword, okay. So they do have different things, I'm just not getting lucky. That's just gloom, okay. I couldn't tell what that fucking was. This is a wall. Yeah. And I have no idea how tall. But, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Okay, it's not too tall. At least right here. And I can throw another one right up there. Tell me that wouldn't be a sick fucking lamp. Look at that. I would pay, like, really good money for that. You know, like, $25. Kidding. I would, I would pay more than that if I had to commission it, you know? Especially if it was, like, a solo glass worker. Like, if it was one dude or one girl or one NB doing that by themselves, hell yeah. I, I'll, I'll give you, like... Couple hundred at least. I think the highest I'd go is like 400 because I have to be at least a little reasonable to my own budget. But if that well, if that's not enough, then that's not enough, you know. <laughs> Regardless, that would be sick. How high is this wall? Oh my god. Does this go all the way up? Or some shit? It totally does, because it's water. God damn it. We can actually use this- Oh my god, wait, is this why we can swap maps? Because I can use this as a indicator to know, like, where the water is, where the walls are down here? That's a light route we haven't found yet. Which also means, on the surface, that my buddy is a shrine. Okay, set the map back to up here. I'm kind of liking the gyroscope controls in this game, but at the same time, I'm really not. You know? It's really super weird. Like, on one hand, they're cool, on the other hand, mmm. Oh, hello. Another Yiga place. Oh, Lord. Okay, hold on. Just like before. Hell yeah. Nice. <laughs> Peace eyeballs OP, bitch. Okay, what's your deal? What's your deal? Fuck off. Okay, where's the storehouse? Up there? I think it's up here. How did the Yiga survive down here without being able to activate light roots? Kind of fucking crazy. Honestly. And I can barely see this ladder. You guys don't place torches in very good spots, do ya? Okay, so that should be the schematic. Okay. So what do we get from this one? Big rig! We get a big truck! Yeah, yeah, bro, it's truck month. Boycott Ford, huh? Wait, what do you mean, boycott Ford? Don't we like trucks? Well, you see, they, they like gays now. Eh? Why the fuck do I care about that? I may be a redneck, but I, but I ain't stupid. Typically. Okay, I have no idea where I am. 
Alright, I can stand safely right here, and I can throw a keys eyeball in that direction. Go me! Oh, hell yeah. We got another one of these places. And what looks like... Is that an Igneo Talus? No, that's a... Those are likes. Okay. I like how you can see Gloom, so like, if you're brave enough, you can climb around it in the dark, but I am not brave enough. Nor will I climb around it, I will climb through it, thank you. Fuck. Yeah, I got enough hearts to tank this shit. You can't stop me. Oh no. Okay, we're just gonna climb slowly because I have no idea where the top is. I can see the top. Oh boy. Well, that was worrisome. A non sick light route. Oh boy. This place, labyrinthian. Am I right? Okay, there we go. Alright, and then from here... We could attempt to fill this in. There's... This is... Actually a chunk we can fill in, because... There would be... Only three light routes in this area? That shouldn't be too hard. We can, like, go from one of these. Probably this one. And it shouldn't be too hard. Stink bug on the ceiling. I'm a stink bug on my ceiling, bitch. Oh, shit. Boss Boko. It's, uh, yeah, black. We still haven't found a silver one, but that's fine. We'll find one eventually. Uh -huh. Yeah, since this area is like a part of the game that they really wanted you to, uh... To actually go to. Hello. Okay, there's one right there, too. It's not that far. But still, we're gonna focus on yellow for now. So I need deposit, a bunch of bocos. There is, a, there's at least two silvers. Is that a Coliseum? I think that's a Coliseum. Oh, that is a Coliseum, baby. I guess we should do that. I thought that was a dragon. <laughs> oh, hello, baby. Stonox! Wee woo! Are Stonoxes even on the surface anymore? I don't think we I've seen even one. Hello. Nice to see you. So you over there are also a shrine. This is a really good way of finding shrines. Even if they're, like, underground or some shit. This one's, like, covered in dirt. We haven't come across one that we couldn't beat yet. I mean, we've only come across two. But, still. Okay, where's the entrance? We'll find it. We just gotta run a circle around it. Scorching Coliseum. Oh yeah, baby. I'm scorching. Oh, I'm scorching, baby! Yeah! There's the entrance. Bitch, we scorching out here! Hello! 
Ooh. Uh, it's Moblins, it appears. And I see that silver. I think that's silver, at least. I think I can handle this, even without arrows. Because, bitch... Oh, right! Shit catches fire! Well, still, we have the Master Sword, so, like... You ain't got anything to challenge me. Okay, two regulars. Honestly. I'm gonna... I'm gonna fight you with us. I'm not wasting my durability. <laughs> that counted? All right, that's two blue ones. You think you're allowed to kick me in the fucking face? Stop! What? Quit kicking me. Or else! Alright, those are black ones. Oh yeah. Oh, they unfreeze quickly down here. Ooh. Well, this works as well. This thing has so much fucking range. <laughs> I can beat both of you with it. I can just keep spamming the Y button and he's never gonna be able to hit me. The fact that you can beat any fucking Moblin with a weak ass weapon. Oh, the spear on it broke. Cause they just always fall from the second hit of it. So, like, who gives a fuck? Okay, um... Yep, there's a silver, baby. Um... Boom. Dude, why do you have to have such a big weapon? I'm not gonna get a good photo of you. Oh, it's fine. Silver Moblin. Oh yeah, baby. Okay, hold on. Not what I meant. You're never standing. This is where you die, bitch boy. You can think you're tough. You can think you're strong. You're not, you never will be, you never were. Because you lose to double hit Claymore. Oh yeah, bitch. And then four at a time, hell yeah. Now that's what I'm talking about, baby. Oh hell yeah, silver moblin horn. Okay, hold on. You're red. You're red. Go away. Oh my god. Okay, hold on. Watch this. Watch this. Oh boy. Oh fuck. Yeah, you guys like that, don't you? 
Oh, fuck, right, 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 right. Oops. Yeah, fucking Death Mountain. Durr. The banana go burr. Uh, golden apple. All right, fuck. Okay, he's dead. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. The fact that this just works. Any two-handed weapon just fucking pulverizes them. <laughs> okay, one broke, that's fine. The other will take a while. It'd be awesome if he could drop his weapon so I could use that against him or at least take it away from him. So I could run away and get a funny photo of him. Okay, that does a lot more damage. But yeah, that's fine. All right, sick. That wasn't too tough. Now was it? Okay, let's swap to like... You. I feel like you're a pretty good weapon to have on. Oh, it's not as bright in here now either. Okay, what, what did they drop or give? Ooh, Zan's helmet. Fuck yeah, that's pretty cool. Do I have a photo of you? Yes. Do I have a photo of you? Yes. Photo of you? Photo of you? All right, we need a photo of the silver moblin horn, which I think I already picked up. So let's just go into my inventory and drop one. Wait, huh? I know I picked one up. It's Gibdo Guts. No, that's Gibdo Bone. Here it is. Weird that it looks kind of like a snail shell, but whatever, it's fine. Okay. Back to the trek. The trek through 
Hot, hot, hot land. From Mario. My favorite Super Mario 64 level. Hot, hot land. That's what it was called, right? <laughs> I'm fairly sure it wasn't. But... You're not gonna correct me. Sorry, bastards. Kati Jabis Light Root. Okay. Oh, yeah. Gut Check Rock looks funny. That other Light Root's in a tiny ass area. Jesus. Christ. I don't know which way- I mean, obviously going this way would be faster, until we hit, like, the north end. But I kinda wanna see what's under Gutcheck Rock. Hey, another dude man. And I think that's a Traver Sword. Pose, pose, pose. Pose, I suppose. Oh. I think that's a talus over there. Oh, yeah. Luminous stone talus, even. I don't think we've killed one of those yet. Yeah, Traverse Sword. But that's fine. I do not mind. Because we're not fighting them anyways. Hey. <laughs> um, can I get up through this? I do not want to stand in the lava, but if I can ascend through this, that'd be nice. No. Game's not gonna let me. Game hates me. Now it works. Skipping a little bit, always helpful. Thank you, Hot Hot Land. For your service. Korok! Yeah, they're not down here. At least I'm fairly sure. I haven't seen one down here. I think it'd be weird. Well, actually, no, we have seen like three down here when we beat Phantom Ganon. But, you know. That's pretty different. Doop a doop a doop doop a 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 doop all right just to the right and we'll have a pretty good connected section of the depths i've loved the uh nacho cheese filter over everything i do by the way it makes it uh very very fun to see I enjoy, uh, breathing clean air, so I'm glad that that right was taken away from me in my infancy. It's a little easier to see when I do this. At least nothing's jumped out at me. Don't have a gap. Fuck yeah. Sometimes you just can't tell with the terrain, you know? Alright. Tyomic Light Roo. See, that's an easy one. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's actually an easier route into gut check, also. Okay, so if we go this way and then hang a right, I feel like it's just... It's just gonna be like a Frox or something, isn't it? Or maybe an Igneo Talus. Oh, no, it's a Flux Construct. Seriously? A two? In an arena like that? Alright, I mean, if you say so. I ain't gonna argue with that. Or am I? <laughs> Alright, how about we go get this one next? Because it, it's still not a complete chunk, you know? Still not quite a complete chunk. We don't even have all of Akala. And that labyrinth in the top right is gonna piss me off until we actually find it. 
you know? <laughs> okay, so we're going for green. Yeah. Green ain't far. Green ain't far at all. I can pro I can glide like the vast majority of the way there. The depths look fucking sick when they're lit up though. Honest to fuck. I love it. Alright, it might not be as easy as I thought to get here, but we can stand up here at least, which makes things a little bit easier. Of course. Why wouldn't it be a huge fucking gap? At least the wall's climbable. The terrain really could have fucked you over. But it's fine. Nipasam, Lightru. Oh my god, Higarashi reference. The Lightru go Nipa. That's crazy. All right, look at that. Hell yeah, we almost got a complete chunk. Now we gotta get over to this blue one. Right over here, wait. Did the red one not disappear? The red one didn't disappear. Weird. Okay, so blue, I can't actually see from here. Oh no, there it is. Okay, that's not hard. I can probably glide literally the entire way there. Yeah, this area is easy. There's really nothing standing in my way. Not surprising though, since this is an area they obviously want you to go for the main story. The chasms look fucking metal from below, by the way. Actually insane. <laughs> we'll eventually make our way to the Hebra depths, guys. Colgara's gotta be somewhere under there. Is that Nigneo Talus? Hell yeah! Oh, come on. You motherfuckers, you. What makes you think you're worth my time? You rat bastards, y'all. Oh yeah! Nice turn, buddy. All right, we're gonna have to run by him, though. Which... Kinda sucks! But we'll be fine. At least we finally found one to add to the fucking compendium. And we can kinda... Oh, no, he sees me. Stay away, you rat bastard, you! Oh, fuck. Oh, boy, we got the goofball music. Me when my dad makes a fun- makes a stupid joke. Alright, I don't think he's even attempted to attack me. Kiso Mom Lightroot. <laughs> My dad, Kiso Mom. Nice. Is he still not fucking off? You want a better photo? Look at him strutting his shit. Hell yeah, motherfucker. Damn! Look at this chunk of the map, y'all! Look at that! I'm so proud. Let's keep going. Can we connect it to the Korok Forest? Maybe. This is a big area. Shall we take a look at that? Or should we go for purple? We can go for purple. 
Me when my me when I want to watch yellow, but my bitch wife want to watch purple. I know that's not the meme. You don't have to tell me. Granters of Boone, somewhere deep in the continent, there's a thing that grants her containers and stamina vessels. Is that not just goddess statues? Is there some other being? Oh, hi, Dinral. Fancy seeing you here. Play the fucking dragon music. I love it. I see the dragon. Play the dragon music. Play it! Video game. You know the dragon's right there, right? Play the dragon music. Go da 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 Yeah! Do 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 I love that. For as few songs as Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom consistently have, it's got some banger tracks. I don't know what this song's called, but it go hard. I don't even know what instrument this is. Violin. I don't even know if the bell sound is bells or piano. Is that Mr. Purple? That's Mr. Purple over there. Yeah, it's definitely some sort of string instrument. Or is it a clarinet? I don't know. Hello! Ooh. No way! No way! Teleporting to the fire temple would be faster than getting to yo ass. I wonder if anyone stumbled upon the fire temple just by exploring the depths before they're before they do the Goron quest line. See ya, Dinral. Nice seeing you. Not ice fruit. Bright boom seed. At least I'm starting to use fewer of these because I I'm getting good at traversing the area. I know if I weren't a pussy, it'd be faster to use the bike, but... Meh. I'll go by foot. I ain't got no qualms about going by foot. You think I got qualms? Bitch, I don't got... I don't got anything like that. What's a qualm? On Fuego. Soy en Fuego! Soy en Fuego! Ah! Ah! Tu eres en Fuego! Tu eres death! Tu eres! Okay, I can't see a goddamn thing. Okay, because it's a wall. At least the terrain over here is pretty uneven, so they don't have space to put a fucking frox in my way. I don't want to go through froxes. They're ugly, and I don't like looking at them. And coming from someone who typically likes frogs... Pretty insane, isn't it? I'm a big frog fan. Me when I see a frog IRL versus me when I see a frox. Uh, Mr. Incredible versus uh, Uncanny Mr. Incredible. <laughs> don't think I didn't see you. I know you probably haven't even seen me. But don't think I don't see you. Horrible ones are such a weird addition. Like, they just wanted a Zelda enemy that was just like, what if monkey? We want a Zelda enemy who's just ape. And boy, did they sure do that. Alright. Kayam Lightru. Some of these are easy. Others are Baba Booey Lightru and, uh... 
shitty Shingard light route. I don't know. Like, just some sh some shit written entirely in fucking... I don't even know language. There's another light route over there. There's what almost looks like a hole here. Damn. Seeing the fire temple completely lit up is pretty sick. Just saying. Alright, the terrain's probably gonna get pretty, uh... Tumultuous from here. And by tumultuous, I mean flat. And I don't like the flat terrain. Shit scares me. They can put a Frox there. They can put a Lionel. I care less about Stalnoxes and Taluses and Flux Constructs. Because they're bitches. You think I'm afraid of a, a fucking Henox? No. Lionel? Not physically scared of them. Frox? Mm-hmm. Get it away from me. What the fuck just screamed? Oh, it's baby Froxes. Yeah, get away from me. You guys are also ugly. I'm just not afraid of you because you die in a couple hits. But, yo fucking daddy? Yo daddy ugly. And he eats fucking turkey subs. And bombs. He eats bombs. Lots of bombs. I mean... The thing is, Froxes look like a fucking Pikmin enemy, you know? <coughs> I, I see a Frox and I don't think that's a Zelda enemy until it opens its mouth and starts fucking sucking. Damn, I lost three hearts in that track. Oh, hello. <laughs> Okay, it's no longer uh, crazy town here, but it is flat and that's scary. Flat terrain is fucking terrifying down here because that means frog. Uh, it also means these guys, but whatever. Stop! Well, can the head die of fall damage? Let's hope the head can die of fall damage. God, that's so deep! Christ! I wish I had arrows, or that I could just shoot a light root by itself. What's down there?! Oh, it's a, it's the fucking Stalkablin. Okay. You know what they should have put in this fucking game? Stalfos. Why are there no Stalfos in this game? Okay, I'm not climbing a body of water right now. I can see the end. Right there. Do I have an energizing elixir? No! But I'm gonna make it anyways. I think. Oh, hell yeah. Ah! Bitch! Get fucking shit on, bitches. I'm glad I actually made it, because I felt like at that rate I was not at all going to. You know what else is fucking weird? The amount of baby Froxes that we've seen that haven't been next to regular Froxes. Like, you'd think there would be, like, a Mama Frox. 
But since we found three frox variations, there's no mama frox, unless, like, one of the two that I haven't fought yet. Oh, there's more nearby. One of the two that I haven't fought yet, um, spawns baby froxes as you go. Okay, I think that's a Yiga fort. Ooh, Cookie's Light Root. And now there's an Umineko reference. That's insane. Alright. Hey, there's the Typho Ruins. There's probably something under that, if I had to guess. Okay. Look at that! We connected the Korok Forest! Isn't that sick, guys? That's so cool. I'm so good at this. Should we check out the Typho Ruins? There's no entrance into it right here, so it's probably, like... Over here, or something. I mean, I guess if you look up here, it would have to be right there. Unless there's a chasm that leads into it, that I didn't notice, it's possible. But then I feel like I'm just gonna land on a frox. You know? <laughs> and that's fucking terrifying. I don't want to land on a frox. Hopefully I shouldn't have to land on a frox ever. Or see one beneath me. That's still one of the scariest moments I've ever had. I mean, maybe if I knew it had such a goofy eyeball. But I just can't help it. Things creepy. Yeah, I think that's a Yiga hideout. Yeah, that's a Yiga hideout over there. Yo! Yo! Soldier Squaymore! New weapon! Add that to the compendium. By the way, I also realized I should probably talk to Impa. When I find, um... When I find... When I run back into her. Wherever she is. I know she's not in the depths. On us. Is it possible? I mean, it's technically possible. She's got that balloon. She could get in and out pretty easily. Oh boy, flat terrain. Not very large flat terrain, mind you, but flat terrain, nonetheless. Also, we're out of arrows, so if we're gonna fight this Yiga dude over here, it's not gonna be so easy. Go away. <laughs> Fucking... Seriously? Bomb flower. Okay. All right. <laughs> sure. Oh, come on. You start me here? Do I at least have a photo of it? Yes. All right, we're gonna ignore that side then. We're gonna go this way. And watch, instead I'm gonna run into fucking hands. Damn. Three. Three hearts lost from that shit. I guess that's how hidden, hidden enemies are, you know? These fucking choo-choos. Uh-oh! What do you got? Oh, lord! Get the fuck out of here. Stupid. The fact that they don't even try to get off their vehicles or, like, drive away from me. They just sit there and shoot slow cannonballs at me. Um, where's your storehouse? Oh, there it is. Sometimes they're, like, up high. Other times they're on ground level. Alright, should be crystallized charges. Yep. And a schematic. Yay! Aerial cannon. Oh, shit. 
using the fucking hovering platforms. That's smart. I like that. Oh my god, it's all the way up there. Wait. No, that's that's the same one. I believe. Is it? I guess we'll find out eventually. Okay. I don't like big open spaces. Foxes blend into the darkness too easily. And I feel like it'll see me before I see it. If it lives down here, it totally sees in the dark. You can't tell me otherwise. Yup! Knew it! I guess at least that I know it's over there. It's not as bad. Oh, now there's baby foxes in the area. Fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off. Hello. Oh my god. You motherfuckers joking. Get roasted. They all died. Hell yeah. Well, hey, we finally found fro a frox near baby foxes. We had never seen that until now. At least I saw it before it saw me. Wrong item. Okay, the white root's down here. Good. So the one I saw up there is not the same one. Good. Nika kick light root. Alright. Yep, there's a bridge in the Typho ruins, but we have to go back through Froxland. I don't want to go back through Froxland. Also, by the way, what is this game's fetish for dropping you on top of Froxes? I was curious about that. Yeah, and it's got a massive heart on for it. So stupid. I'd love to see what's in the Typho ruins. But no, game disagree. Frocks in the way. I think it's a regular one, but still. I don't want to fight it. I have no arrows. Zero. So whatever's in the Typho ruins, I'm looking and bailing, unless it's something that I know I can beat without arrows. You know? And if I don't think I can beat it without arrows, I ain't trying. You know what's something that's totally in this game that I believe is probably somewhere in the depths? Dark Link. There's no way they wouldn't do that, right? Actually, you know where it would be? Hold on. I know exactly where it would be. Hold on. Um, wait a minute. Here. Except I've been there. That's right under Link's house. It makes sense to me. Oh, hi! How do you immediately see me, bitch? Fuck off. Oh yeah, by the way, also... We're actually really close to Hebra. I didn't even realize. I mean, that chasm is, of course, really close to Hebra, but, you know. Not what I meant. I don't know why this 
Talos is still mad at me when he very obviously is never gonna reach me. Wait a minute. Hold on. There's gonna be a light route up here. Seriously? I didn't even realize. I started going this way thinking, oh yeah, there's... I wanna look at what's under the ruins. Maybe it's some sort of quest. Maybe it's gonna be completely pitch black in there. I mean, obviously. I mean, it's lit up, but maybe even without the light roots. Like, it never stays lit up, just like the Typhlo ruins from... Uh, the first game. That'd be cute, wouldn't it? I think so. Can we see Froxy Bitch? Yeah, there's Froxy Bitch. Fucking insane. I, I don't know why the game does that. That's just cruel ass game design. Hello? I thought I saw a Flux Construct over there for a moment. There's the light route. Ah, bitchin'. Alright, if you motherfuckers want to tussle, we can tussle. I'm cool with tussling. I was born to tussle. Born to tussle! I was born to fight rocks by picking them up and throwing them. I don't know if that's the way the game always intends you to do that, but the fact that you can do that is sick. So I really don't mind. It is actually really dark over here, even though we're still in the light route. No, there's the entrance into it, and I don't see anything. Just yet. But, hold on. I want to get this light route over here first. I actually can't see it again. It wasn't up super high. I just lost track of it. Is it because I'm facing a wall? I guess maybe. Hey, this thing looks weird. I guess it's just a rock. <laughs> nice toss. I feel like there's gonna be a Lionel up here or something. Yeah. There wouldn't be another frock so nearby. I would hope. There's so many pebblets. Yeah. What's mad at me? Oh, it is the pebblet. All right, motherfucker. You want to tussle? We're tussling. They run straight at me and they don't know how to handle it when I pick them up. They're just like, oh, I'm gonna get him, I'm gonna get him. Oh, here I come, motherfucker. I'm gonna put an end to the hero. No, don't pick me up. I'm scared. Self-destruct. <laughs> Super funny to me, though. I just think that's hilarious. Hilarious, hysterical game design. <laughs> Funniest shit I've ever seen. God, we gotta climb. We gotta work for this one, even though it's in a... God! I didn't mean to push the attack button. I scared the hell out of myself. I still haven't showered after work. Usually, as soon as I get home, no matter what time of day it is, immediately I take off my uniform and I shower. Or at least I take off my uniform and just wear the clothes I have on underneath, because, yeah, I go with clothes underneath. You know why? Because I got some things to... I got some things to hide. I ain't trying to get clocked at a, at a fucking supermarket. Katenim Light Route. This counts as Elden? Seriously? Well, there we go. That's a really fucking amazing chunk now. Bitch. Look at that. I mean, over here would be nice to fill in, but... Mm. 
We can also head towards Hebra. Granted, there's a lot of stuff that's been filled in that I'm pissed off about. Like, I see that. I see that. This pisses me off. That pisses me off. This little jut pisses me off. This pisses me off, especially this. Light not being made underneath the, uh, chasms that I've found pisses me off. Super dumb. But whatever. Let's see what's hiding inside the Typho ruins. If it's empty... I would assume it's because there's a fifth dungeon and uh, we haven't seen its boss, so it's a boss rematch with that fifth boss. There's got to be a fifth dungeon. There's, there's a fifth fucking finger on our hand. We've done all four of the main dungeons. I don't know if this fifth one would be optional. I mean, technically you can... I, I do know for a fact you can actually beat this game without doing all the main dungeons. Even though the game doesn't, like, say you can. It, it's not saying, hey, if you go to Hyrule Castle, you can defeat Ganon. And now the game's telling me to go to Hyrule Castle to defeat Ganon. But I don't have my middle finger unlocked. I, I, I don't know what the powers of my middle finger are. Oh, come on. You gotta fight me. All right, Zonite. We're almost there, baby. We'll get to see what's hiding in the Typhlo ruins. All right, moment of truth. Ta-da! Oh, shit. A fucking Gleok? There's a thunder... Wait. Oh, pfft, Gleok then. I'm sorry, King Gliok? There's a head for every element. There can be Gliok's in the depths, or is this a special one? Is this like a hidden super boss? That's an even better photo, hell yeah. Well, that's a bit difficult. And of course, there's a chest in there. All right, well, we're not doing that. <laughs> not right now, we aren't. Nope. Nuh-uh. Nuh-uh. I ain't fucking testing that. In fact, we're done down here. How many light roots did we get this episode? I feel like... Okay, hold on. I can actually count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... 8, 9, 10, 11. That's pretty good. 11 total light roots. It's pretty good. And we should probably focus on shrines next. Or maybe quests. We got a really good chunk done. I'm proud of myself. It is almost 11 p.m. <laughs> I mean, we'll get down to Hebra eventually. Actually, you know, would Hebra actually be where Colgara is? Because Marbled Goma was right here. That's what's weird to me. Is there like a spot like that that we passed by? Like a little brown platform? No. Odd. In any other area? Uh, obviously other than the Colosseums? No. What if we explore from, like, the first area we went to? Or at least attempt to connect it down there. I don't know. We'll get there eventually, but hey. Oh, fuck, right, I forgot there's dudes there. <laughs> okay, where should we teleport uh, to end this episode? Because I don't want to end it in the depths. Let's end it. Um, I don't know. What will we do next episode? Probably Shrine Hunt. There's there's a lot that we've marked. So, like, yeah. 
the, in fact, there's so many we've marked. It's kind of fucking insane. The one on Hyrule Castle, notwithstanding. I guess Korok Forest. We'll do some Korok Forest shit next episode. Wait! Did I not have the chest marker on that one? Hold up! 37 light roots. Yeah, we're making progress, bitch. We're making progress. That's right. Mm-mm. Okay, but I need to make 100% sure. Yeah, I did. Okay, never mind. All right, well, I suppose this is where we'll end the episode here. If you liked it, then be sure to press the like button. And if you didn't like it, then fuck you too. Remember to subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and hit that notification bell to stay up to date on all my videos and stuff. And as always, my name is Godzi, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye! Yeah!